This is Lloyd Chambers at digloyd.com. In this video I'm going to talk about how to shoot parallax free panoramas, either single row, which could be possibly be angled up or down, which has which creates additional complications, or even multi-row, where you shoot uh, uh, one, two, three, typically three rows, could be two, um, for greater coverage. I've done some shooting here earlier today. And in front of us, we've got the uh, Really Right Stuff uh, Pano Rig. And I always get confused if this is the PG-01 or 02, but it's the heavier, beefier one. Now, the first thing you need to know about shooting panoramas is that every lens has a point somewhere front to back called the no parallax point. And if you are doing a single row panorama and the camera's level, you need, just need to position that point so that the rotation is about that point. And that can be done with what's called a nodal slider, which you can see in use here. You determine the entrance pupil, the no parallax point, and you just set, you just position it there, and then when you, as you rotate the, the camera, it will be rotating about the point, uh, uh, same point, where light rays enter, so you won't have any parallax. <clears throat> and that works great for if you're shooting level. The problem arises, however, uh, the video is going to go a little wonky here. Let's suppose I want to shoot up a little bit, like this. So that point, which might have been here, has now been moved out of the plane. And as you rotate, it's, it's going to be rotating around you know, around the, the center. So you're gonna get a lot of parallax. This is why uh, you really need a, a two-arm rig like this to do um, even single row panels if the camera is uh, tilted up or down or any, any, anything off level. So uh, the, way, the reason that works is because on this, uh, uh, device there's an arm here and, and and when the arm is when the camera is rotated up or down where the arm is centered on that point the no parallax point we determined so as this see if I can loosen this a little bit as this is rotated as the, as, as the camera is rotated up or down the rotation stays about that point in this direction as well so not only is it centered uh, vertically about the no parallax point as you rotate, it's also centered. So all our rotations are around this tiny little imaginary circle, as opposed to going like, like this if the uh, no parallax point is not maintained. In other words, if you have a nodal slider on a traditional head and you can turn it left to right and point it up, as soon as you point it up, it's not going to stay centered anymore. So, uh, to start going with this type of rig, you need to center the camera on the center mark of the rotation in this direction. And to do that, you, you move this arm back or forth so that the centering occurs. Now here I don't have an L bracket. It would have a nice little white mark making it easy. I've done it um, by centering it on the lens, with, using a lens that has a centering mark, but it's much, you really need an L bracket is what you, you should have. So on the Really Right Stuff rig, um, this knob locks the rotation, so it won't rotate. You loosen it and then you're free to rotate. And on this knob, that allows the camera uh, access to rotate. And when you have that position you want, you'd lock that. And then you can shoot your, your row, bink, 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 bink. And uh, typically, if, if it works out nice and even, you can start it at a certain number of degrees and then say, depending on the lens like this one, it needs five ticks. So each frame, you'd go five ticks, take a frame, and then do five more ticks. Um, and that's really all there is to it. If you, so if you want to shoot r really high-grade, parallax-free uh, panoramas, You'll, you'll get a, a rig like this. And it's not fun to carry, I think it weighs three and a half pounds, but um, the results are beautiful and, and when it's set up, it's just awesome to work with because it's really smooth and quick. 
Let's see, is there anything else? Uh, for most people, you'll want the MPR CL2 from Really Right Stuff. It's, it's long enough to accommodate most lenses to, 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 to position their entrance people. There's a shorter one if you're working with real short lenses, but uh, I recommend you just stick with the full, full length one so that when you go to a telephoto, you'll uh, be in good shape and have enough length to do what you need to do. All right, so, uh, oops, <laughs> I fall over backwards on the rocks. So a, a scene like this, you might want to shoot, uh, I wanted some extra clouds, so I shot a pano earlier. So I had, I tilted up like this and I kind of went, Bink, 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 bink. And then I put it down for overlapping the two. And bink, 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 bink. And you're done. If it's a real long lens with a tiny little slice, of course, you know, if you're really zoomed in, then you might have to do, you know, row, upper row, middle row, bottom row, sort of thing. Uh, but uh, I don't like to shoot lenses that long. It's, it's, Conditions change too quickly, it just gets really hard. So sometimes you just go a little wider and shoot fewer frames. And you generally shoot vertical, so you're really going bink, 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 bink. And that's so you have more uh, coverage this way. It just makes it a lot easier to shoot uh, a more proportioned uh, panorama. Unless you want a super wide aspect ratio, then you can just go bink, bink, bink in a single row. But it's usually uh, better to go vertical just for, because of the coverage. All right, so that's a quick overview of how to shoot uh, very high-grade panoramas. You'd assemble those in something like Photoshop, and uh, I show a lot of examples of that sort of thing on, on uh, in my uh, Making Sharp Images publication, and I'll have a tutorial there soon on how to assemble them in Photoshop. Okay, that's signing off. Lloyd Chambers at digitaloid.com.